Yo, what is going on guys? Provised here. Today I'm going to be teaching you uh, how to make a VIP GUI so when they buy a game pass, the GUI will show up. Yeah. So, uh, whenever you buy a game pass or whenever you have a game pass, you're going to have a GUI that will pop up on your screen. Um, that a GUI will show. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, first off, what we can do is make the GUI. So, right-click on Start a GUI, Insert Object, Insert a Screen GUI. All right. Uh, let's name this. Uh, let's just name it Game Game Pass GUI. All right. Right-click on that, Insert Object. Now, I'm not going to make it fancy at all. I'm just gonna insert. Uh, I'm just gonna insert. Uh, let's uh, change the anchor point 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5 and let's change the position on the X and Y to 0 0.5 to make it center let's just change the size to 0.5 then 0.3 there we go and uh, yeah that's good enough good enough right I don't know. I'm not liking. It. I just gotta change the transparency because it looks. It look. It just looks terrible, and it's annoying me. So there, that's much better. Okay, that's good enough. I'll just stick with that. Okay, so uh, let's name this container. Yeah. Okay. So here's gonna be our GUI. So if we have, but I'm pretty sure you guys are probably gonna have. Uh, I'm actually gonna. Put it. Yeah, I'm just gonna position it. I'm pretty sure you guys are probably gonna be making this for. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what kind of game. But here's the GUI, the the ugly GUI. Um. So now we're going to make a script inside of Service Script Service. So let's right click on Service Script Service, insert uh, object, and then script. Okay. So. Oh, let me sit up right. All right. So, what we're going to do is first off make a, a variable for the game pass ID. So local uh, game pass ID ID or just do ID equals, and then our ID is going to be here. So what we want to do is go on YouTube. Nah, nah. I don't know why I'm thinking about going on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I saw retarded. Okay, uh, so click on the game that you want to make a game pass for, and you can go to uh, uh, store, and then add pass on your game. Um, now you can uh, upload your game pass, put a name, put a description. Now once you make your game pass, you should have an ID. Like the ID is gonna be in the URL. So just grab that ID. Keep the ID. Don't subtract one from it you don't want to do that uh, and then you put your ID in but let's see if I have any game passes for my game and I know I do um, let's go on uh, your flat city testing yeah alright so I have a game pass ID which I'm going to put and up in here so here's the game pass okay so I'm going to actually remove this okay alright so uh, then we put our ID right here our game pass ID alright <clears throat> so now what we're going to do is make a function so game so we're going to make this function so whenever a player is added, it's going to check if we have the game pass ID, the game pass. Okay. Oh, man. I'm typing so bad and sitting in this position. Okay. All right. So the player added takes a parameter of the player, the actual player that joins. All right. So now what we want to do is uh, make it a statement. So if game get service so there's a service called game pass service 
All right, so game pass service, and then player has pass. Here's a, a boolean. So as you can see, um, how it shows a bool. So it's a boolean. Player has pass. Then instance player. So what this is, this is the actual player. So we'd be putting player, and then the second parameter would take is the game pass ID, which is this. So simple. So we just put PLR and then ID. So this is the player and this is the ID. We'll put IS. Okay, ID. So if game service, game pass service, player has pass, then we get the, ID, the player and then the ID. Then we want to go inside the player. So player dot player GUI. So all this replicates, which replicates pretty much means clone, in, into each player's player GUI. So that's why we go player dot player GUI, and then we get the game pass, the game pass GUI. Now, whatever you call name this, you put right here where I'm putting it. So game pass GUI. Okay. So and then we do dot frame. Uh, well, this is a frame, but it's named container. So, whatever the name is, we put right here, and then we do dot visible equals true. Yeah. Um. All right, let's test it out. Oh, and yeah, this is not gonna work actually. Uh. Hold on. Yeah. We can have us here running on Roblox. Okay, first off, this 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 thing would only work on a in a game server. Okay. Now, actually <clears throat> I think this whole script, this script would actually work even if the game pass is not even on that game you're on like in studio. I think if you just put any player any game pass ID and if you have that game pass, then it would it would uh show the GUI. So um let I think so. We are going to uh let's see. Let's deactivate this. Then let's go on YouTube tutorials and let's play this. Because we have to actually go on the game server itself. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, it's loading up. Okay, as you can see, it's showing, and in studio, it's not visible. So, like I was saying, it does work. So let's just check for any errors, just in case. Looks like we're not getting. Now, let's see what happens if we reset. It probably will go away. Yeah. Okay. Um. So as you can see, when we reset, it goes away. Now. How this code works is, uh, as you can see, it's in a player added function. So this player added function fires whenever the player gets added. So whenever my player gets added. Um, now there's this even called character added, which is whenever the cat each time the char character gets added. So what we can do is uh, we can do uh, player dot character added connect function and then in the takes parameter of char which is the actual character so we're going to take copy and paste it in here just make our code look neat oops All right um okay let's test this now let's publish to roblox let's come over here let's press play Let's see what happens. I'm so broke on Roblox. But oh well. Okay. So we have the GUI. Oh wow, in one of my tutorials I made a running a running thing. Hmm. I wonder if that's why I have dislikes. 
Because the running animation and stuff is not even working. Um, yeah, running. Okay, line 17. Character. But some reason, I think it's working in studio. Um, I'm going to have to test in studio. Let's see. So sorry for all those that watched the tutorial. Because it looks like it's not even working. Yeah, it works in studio. Okay, let's check on our... Yeah, okay, our script is working. The, the GY pops up every time we die. Cool. Nice, nice, nice. Well, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So everything's working fine. You can change the script. It won't affect the script. I mean, you can change the name. It won't affect the script. But, uh... Let me just see what's going on uh, with that one script. Okay, it was with running. All right, so we had something wrong with the character. Okay, so if you did watch, if you guys did watch the tutorial, um, you maybe putting a repeat, a repeat. Let's do this. If you guys watch the tutorial, you guys can put this. A so repeat. Wait until game dot players dot local player dot character. All right. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to test this. It should be done. Okay. Um, now feel free to comment some uh, new some request. Uh, I won't get it to us to it as soon as possible. And also, if you guys uh, feel wonder feel free, just please let your friends know about my channel and stuff. I really appreciate it. All right, so here's Roblox. All right, let's see. If, uh... Yeah, okay, that that was a problem. We forgot that one line. My running animations are bad. Cool. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.